anyway, back into the stories. I mentioned the stupid court case in Osaka last week and was kind of making fun of Osaka, like, you know, Osaka, raw lies, you know, of course, uh, of course, they get a bit of racism down there. And also, Osaka is not what I would think of as a racist sort of a place, but it is kind of fun to make fun of them as being a bit 20 years behind sometimes. Um, you know, uh, a bit of the, the wannabe second city or whatnot. But, uh, you know, of course, we would never have schools in Tokyo that would uh, bully or schools that would harass, uh, especially public school students for not having black hair. Turns out NHK World uh, went and found that a large number of schools in Tokyo actually are going to students that do not have black hair and they are asking their parents for proof, uh, not, and not just by statement, but with photographs, that if they don't have black hair, they have to prove that the non-black hair is natural with photos of them from when they were younger to prove that they really didn't have black hair. So... <laughs> Uh, yeah, here was me bragging about Tokyo somehow being better than Osaka and, you know, get, give me a leopard skin leotard and, uh, you know, a punch perm and, and head out on the town because uh, we are no, we're, we are totally on the same level as Osaka, it seems. Um, yeah, yeah, this girl, this, I, 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 I shared this and it got a lot of on shares by people who felt the same way. Uh, to be clear, this is not something all schools in Tokyo do, although the fact that multiple schools do it at all is still shocking to me. Um, again, as I suppose, it's a step above uh, uh, forcing people to have black hair. I mean, what would they do with me? That I'd have to I'd get a toupee? I don't know. Uh, I guess it's not really a, a bald high school students are not yet a problem. But um, you know, the, the notion that uh, that some places have that oh no, you know, the rule says that all hair has to be black. So they they actually force dyeing onto people who don't want their hair to be dyed in order to make their hair look the same like it's part of the uniform you know that's a little bit showa sure, that's a little bit 20 years ago um but but again uh these schools here in tokyo are basically kind of doing the same thing where they're not forcing everyone to have any hair color they like so long as it's black but they are saying that if you claim to have naturally brown hair as again as you see you know young people do naturally um, they are now going and they're asking parents to prove it, which in itself would be fine if it were that they were doing it with everybody, including the kids with black hair. But of course, what they're doing is they're going up to all the kids with non-black hair. Uh, obviously, it's efficient because there are fewer of them. I get that. But it, it also basically is, is showing a, a subconscious acknowledgement that... Um, they still think that black hair is normal. I mean, if you're, and it makes me wonder. So if 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 you had a blonde kid like I used to be, um, <laughs> and, and the kids, the photos showed that I used to have black hair, like would that be breaking the rules? Uh, so it, it it's showing the mindset of that black hair equals normal, and you know, uh, it equals what a Japanese person or person in Japan should have. And yeah, even if we're going to be tolerant and, and trendy, you know, you've got to satisfy that there's a good reason that you don't look like a pure Japanese person, which, which to also reiterate, apart from the fact that pure Japanese person is something you hear less nowadays than when I first got here in the 90s, but um, it's ridiculous. You are either Japanese or you're not, and there are increasing numbers of Japanese that um, have backgrounds that uh, are of international heritage. Also, Japanese genetics are, are, you know, like, how pure do you want to be? Most people in Japan come came here from Korea, Philippines, um, you know, from the, they came here from all directions. Uh, most Japanese have, you know, all sorts of DNA from all over the place, even people who consider themselves, you know, like, not recently international. Um, and yeah, and even for all of that, if you've got people with nothing but uh, traceable Japanese heritage, it's really common. You look at particularly at young kids, it's really common. They go out in the sun. Japanese get sun bleached hair just like anybody else does, except when they do, their hair goes a bit brown. When you see people go surfing, you get people who don't put chemicals and stuff in and they get brown hair. And kids who spend a lot of time playing outside get brown hair. Um, so it happens, right? So the notion that uh, the schools are... I mean, in a way, it's good that they're letting people keep their natural hair, but the, the, the fact that they're going and auditing with a presumption that non-black hair needs to be explained still shows, frankly, a racist presumption um, that shows that, you know, the schools, I, I would be, I mean, it would be, I couldn't imagine at my son's school, my son goes to a regular Japanese school, um, there are other kids like him, uh, both from Asian and non-Asian backgrounds, uh, including kids with brown, you know, brown hair and whatnot. Um, it's normal enough, like about 10% maybe of the student population is actually quite high. It is Tokyo. Um, it's high enough that 
I mean, it would be outrageous. I, I must admit, I'd, I'd be I'd be pretty pretty outraged if I heard that this was something that would come up. Apparently, it does come up in high schools. It doesn't come up so much earlier. So we'll see. Um, but um, yeah, yeah, very disappointing to see this and the mentality that it reflects and it shows that you know, one step forward, one step back, uh, progress but not progress. But that is a story that came up on NHK World that grabbed my attention. This